Well, we're so privileged to meet this very dynamic person in Asia. Uh, please mention your name. Good morning. I'm Edric Louis, and I'm tasked to oversee. Okay. 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 Good morning. I'm Edric Louis, and I'm tasked to oversee the operations here in Century and assist in future planning. All right. So you know we've learned so much about the hotel. It's. Uh, philosophy in the Philippines and throughout the world. Uh, what is your own definition of design thinking, knowing the philosophy of the hotel? So, Century's motto is home away from home. So, we try to give you and our customers the luxury of being in a hotel while feeling as comfortable as being in your own home. Perfect. And uh, what's in store for Century uh, this year? Um, so, we're about to have our first Halloween party for kids. We've had Easter parties for kids and we've seen a lot of success from that. So, we're trying to implement that idea into other events and hopefully in the future we'll be able to implement this idea for more events and see the same success. Okay. Uh, we've known um, the leadership of your, uh, is it your granddad or? Yes, yes, my yeah. granddad. Your grandfather, um, he's really good in you know in doing lots of things. Yes. Um, how do you relate disrupted strategy when it comes to the the brand promise of your properties here at the hotel? So uh, we've seen Century as a hotel that's been alive for forty seven years actually, and the goal is just continuity, just to stand the test of time. And I think any business, their goal is to just continue the success that they've been seeing and hopefully in the next hundred years we'll be celebrating our hundred year birthday for Century and the next 200 years we'll be celebrating 200 year birthday of Century. And as a personal question, there is this you know ongoing bigotry, unconscious biases and stereotyping about young um, entrepreneur like you that uh, might not be, might, might, might not be you know, handling the business so well, but I, with your leadership thought, it's, it's really different. Um, how, how are you addressing this um, by good tree? Um, I understand where all of that's coming from, and I'm so blessed to have such a wonderful team here. I have the marketing team here with Mr. Edser, and we have a great sales team, great f and team, and I never say this is just my thing or this is just one individual thing. It's really a group that we have, and it's a whole crew that we have here that we've seen really push the hotel into what it is right now. And in the future, I hope to be with these same people doing the best we can to really make Century uh, one of the best hotels in the Philippines. Uh, based on our research and from our research team, um, you have a very positive feedback when it comes to handling the organization or your company. Um, how does it feel that you have this positive you know, impression from uh, different um, groups and your uh, staff as well? Um, well, I think that with anything in life, there's always going to be some negative feedback that we're going to have from you know, the different areas of the business. But I think just keeping a positive attitude and just knowing that throughout all the rough roads, being with the right people will really help you elevate your game and will really help put things into perspective for you. Okay, for the project management from initiation to post-mortem, they said that you are also good in putting some twist on what you do here at the hotel. Your um, reaction on this? Um, that's really good to hear. Um, it's, I mean, I guess I just say it's natural. It's just something, when I see something going on, maybe something wrong, I just, Think what's the best way in the solve what the best way to solve it and I guess it comes off like that. So it's I just see it's like a natural thing. Okay, I have this question from Laura from London. Yes. Uh, she asked me to ask this question to you personally. Um, in business school we are thought of this term, this Chinese word VJ means crisis. Yeah. Okay. How is important uh, uh, converting danger into opportunity? Um, oh, I think it's the most important thing. Um, I believe in the same pressure makes diamonds and 
you either fold through pressure or it makes you better. And I choose to make it, I choose to let pressure make me better. 